And next up, we have Esther Dashevsky with Done. Привет, hello, shalom, and hola. This is Done. Do you like to draw, but find it so complicated sometimes? You know what you want to draw, but you can't let it out, or when you do, you overthink it too much. Whether you are drawing as a hobby or want to continue it career-wise, having to erase, then draw, then re-erase, over and over again, like a repetitive pattern just like this. Even when you thought it was going to be easier on an iPad, but it still isn't. Sometimes putting or speaking your thoughts out to visually see what you want to create could help. Think about it. Wouldn't you just rather dictate to your iPad and have it draw for you instead, and then you can make small tweaks to it? Well, picture this. We're here to make art easier and more comfortable to you by introducing this new app called Done, where you are able to dictate what you want to your iPad or electronical device such as tablet and have a draw for you. We just saved you in your art class by making your time more efficient and less difficult. Even with all the difficulties, there always comes a solution. All done. Do you like to Oops. Do you like to draw? Oh, okay. Imagine a young girl who spoke three languages within the first five years of her life and then learned a fourth language in middle school. Well, I was that girl. I was born into a Russian-speaking family. My first language was Russian, and then I started learning English and Hebrew parallel to one another, and then later on in middle school, I was learning Spanish. So you could see how difficult it was in my writing and speaking, but it was more into my writing. When I was going into high school, my parents hired a tutor for me, and she helped me with my writing skills, but it was still hard to get my thoughts out onto paper. And instead, she told me to dictate to the device, such as Google Docs, and have it write for me. At the same time, while this was going on, I was also drawing as a hobby, and that also came with its difficulties because it was a lot of overthinking, and as you guys saw in that video, there was drawing and re-erasing and drawing. So I thought, when I was creating this app, why not combine something that I used as a resource and also as my hobby? So this is my product. It is called Done. It is a place where individuals can dictate to the app what they want it to draw for them. And on the bottom, as you can see, there is a microphone that you click it and you speak into it and it draws for you and right next to it is a globe and it can detect any language or you can click on any language that you speak in such as Russian, English, Spanish, Hebrew and it'll be able to recognize it for you. It is a B2C and slash consumer app because it is a space where individuals can feel safe in and just have the freedom to do what they naturally love to do and that's what I did in my writing when I was, it was just more comfortable for me. So my target market is kids since I was going through, since I was using this as a resource and as a hobby going through elementary, middle, and high school, I wanted to target kids like my age, especially multilingual kids and even kids that have physical disabilities that prevent them from being able to draw if they broke their hand or any other disabilities that impair them from doing it. And it's just easier for them to, it will be less difficult for them and less overthinking. So my go to marketing strategy is the app will be set in around nine months because it's complex, it has dictation and you need to create a team and moreover, just in case if the, cra if the app crashes or the app isn't working. And so that will be set in November, 2022 since the idea already came across and again, need to gather a team and then after that, after the app is created, because in order to create an app, then you can create 
at, then you can start promoting it on social media and that takes a year to create a successful ad campaign. And I'm also thinking of partnering with art schools and art classes and even hospitals because that if they provide their patients with electronic devices for them to draw. And the reason why I'm also looking at academic schools is because this can be used as an education tool for someone that is learning either a new language or if a kid comes into kindergarten and starts speaking, for example, they learn how to use a new word like they learn a new word like cat so they know what a cat looks like and so forth so they can speak into the app and say please draw me a cat and they will able to know what a cat looks like and continue practicing it. So budget wise, um, it didn't update but the salaries there will be software designers or graphic designers, project managers, um, a marketing team, system administrator and with that you're looking at at least half a million three hundred thousand dollars or five hundred thousand dollars for just the team for those nine months and then advertising whether it's TikTok, google ads instagram it's also um half a million itself each so each media each app and then to create where would we get those funds to provide salaries and so forth just to start the company would either be from kickstarter or gofundme or even from loans and there will also be a subscription fee because even though this is to help other individuals, it still needs to function and get the app working. So there will be a 14-day free trial just to see how that app works and then $8.99 a month for every individual. And then for schools, if we when we partner with schools, every 75 people individually will be $5.99 per person. So this is done and this is a place where kids kids who come from different backgrounds, multilingual kids who have physical disabilities that prevent them from drawing. This is a space where they can just feel comfortable in and just do what they love to do, draw. So even with the difficulties, there always comes a solution. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Esther. Sanjay, I would love to start with you. Yeah, sure. Esther, first of all, great job. I thought you were really articulate, um, nice uh, flow to the presentation. Uh, I liked how you drew us in with your story and um, that really helped in, in showing the dictation on, on the pad. I, th I think it's a great idea and I think there's clearly a need for it. I think you're living proof of it and I think all of us kind of uh, anecdotally will probably attest to it, right? I, I think with that said, what I'd encourage you to do is I think when you said the, the target is kids, I think it's, it's way broad. You know, it's like every kid, right? And so I encourage you to think a little bit more narrow. And you did. You started to think about, you said, like, kids that physically can't draw, right? And so I'd encourage you to kind of think about a more narrow target market, start as, as that beachhead, and you have it, right? So it's not just all kids, but it's it's children who uh, physically can't do it. And, and this would be a fantastic app that can partner with them to to, to get, it, get it done. Um, I think you had a really interesting idea there in terms of the art schools and the hospitals. And the other second comment that I have is, you know, as, as I'm listening to you is like, who's going to pay, right? Are the students going to pay? Uh, are their parents going to pay? Or are the art schools and hospitals going to pay? And you probably don't know the answer to that. But I think, you know, as you get out there, I think you need to kind of quickly validate that, right? From a, a monetization and business model type of perspective. And then the last thing I'll say is, uh, well, two more things. I think it would be cool if you had um, like a prototype. You know, like because some of the things you mentioned are are pretty complex, like multilingual understanding of voice. And, and if I, if you could actually show a prototype, even if it's not fully done, right? But just a, a, a beta version of how this is working, um, I think that would in, interest investors and get people interested, right? Like right now is is a screenshot, so I think that that would be kind of one thing. And then on that, I think um, I think I'd encourage you to like to 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 go lean, like half a million dollars to build the app and half a million dollars for media right now, I think would be, I think you can get it done for a lot cheaper, right? And so I'd encourage you to look for um, resources, other students, offshore resources that you can get, even just a, a working version of the app, maybe with one language, you know, done a lot more cheaply and get it out there versus um, when you said a million, I was like, wow, like, you know, that's that's a lot of money to raise right now without, um, without seeing if there's traction in the market. 
but um, otherwise, it's fantastic. It's a great idea. I'd encourage you to push ahead on it. Thank you, Sanjay. Thank you. Luann. Yeah, um, I won't repeat some of the things that Sanjay had said, except for to echo what he's saying about start simple, get something out there, maybe do a really simple app, because what you're talking about is terribly complex um, from a coding perspective and integrating back end. So even if you've got an app and put it, you know, in the app store for $1.99, and that way you can prove your concept by how many people actually are using the app. So that's the first thing that I'll say. Um, you got my attention when you started talking about kids, but you didn't do that right at the beginning. So as you're drawing, which I love your video um, and your narration as you're drawing, you know, I, I'm already asking myself, well, who is this for? Is this for artists? Is this for designers? Is this, but when you said kids, I'm like, okay, now I'm on board. Um and as a matter of fact, you might even tap into some of our experts in our communication science and disorders department. These those faculty members and even their students are just, you know, they study brains, you know, so you could you could really tap into their expertise. And I think there is something um, to the subscription model. There are all sorts of subscription platforms out there. And, and back to the point about putting something, a prototype out there, you could try freemium and see, you know, how many people liked it, subscribed to it for free, and then, you know, build from there. So those are my suggestions at this point. Thank you, Luann. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Esther. Thank you.